And I like color changey things, okay? So I brought this little guy, see if you like it. All right. My favorite element's copper. Vanadium's pretty high up on the list, as is titanium. So I've got a little demo. I don't think it's the most beautiful demo, but I think it's pretty darn cool. I've got a solution of ammonium metavanidate. Vanadium. Why is vanadium called vanadium? After the Norse goddess of beauty, Vanus. Yes, same root as um, the word to be vain. <laughs> so this, this reaction is so pretty. Um, I've got a little um, ammonium metavanidate solution. And here it is. Nice yellow. Does it look decent with the white background? Can you guys see it enough? All right, cool. Um, did I do this the right way? Yes, I did. I have the beakers in the right order. OK, so within the solution right now, you have a vanadium oxygen ion. You can check out your handout if you want, because I'd rather show you things and you can read after the fact. That's why we wrote them all up. It's faster that way. I'm not going to read the handout. OK, so um, the vanadium is in this bright yellow color. And you know, it's spring. So let's see if we can't, you know, work up some nice Easter colors here. All right. I'll pour about 500 milliliters into this flask. It's got some zinc down in the bottom. Now making this solution kind of can be a bit of a pain, but luckily, like you saw at the beginning of the show, I wonder where you could get the solution already made up, mixed up, and save you yourself time. <laughs> yep. There's a demo kit called um, The Goddess of Beauty. Oh, well, look at that. The vanadium, if it's in contact with the zinc, will steal electrons from the zinc, and you get a different vanadium oxygen compound. And like with a lot of things that have D electrons in them, you get a color change, which is just really cool. So now you've got some vanadium that's in a plus four oxidation state in that ion instead of the plus five, which was yellow. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Oh, well, look at this. She's a greedy little one. I don't know. Maybe it's a he's a greedy little one. I think that's more like it. Look at that. Stealing electrons from that zinc. I love transition metals. You get all those cool colors. So now, instead of vanadium with a plus five oxidation state, here's a plus four oxidation state. This is a plus two oxidation state. Oh, that's so awesome. It's kind of Easter-ish. OK, now for the difficult part. It was real greedy at the beginning. OK, now, great, great demo for redox things. Great demo for, oh, it's grabbing electrons from the zinc. That's nice. Great demo for. Um, ions that have D electrons, you end up getting these neat colors and you get a change of, of the resonance of those electrons in there. And notice how quickly is this one changing? Not nearly as much. Why? It's not, you know, if you want to use some of the, I don't know, giving the human personality traits to the to the elements, it's not nearly as greedy. It's got some of its electrons needs met. If we keep going here, are we getting a little color change? It's getting a little bit darker. The zinc acts like a catalyst. Of course, it's gonna, it's gonna provide the, the electrons to the vanadium. But it also acts a bit like a catalyst. Oh, we're getting there. Slop it around. Make sure the zinc and the, and the vanadium compounds get close enough together they can react. That's going to be important in a minute. Oh, that's what the white background is for, Rhonda. All right, let's pour a little out. Now, when you talk about redox stuff, does it drive your students nuts? Is it difficult for them? To understand, electrons are moving. That's why you get a color change. 
Okay, Larry said earlier that I have a group of kids that are kind of important to me. A lot of people have demo teams. I understand that, but these guys for the last 18 years have been, and a lot of different kids have been um, pretty much kind of like an extended family to me, the kids that are members of a group known as the Faraday Society. And um, one year we were doing this and the kids said, I know if we could, if we could explain why this is happening to like little kids, like fourth graders, then, then we'd understand it. I said, all right, work something up. And so this kid named Jordan Ryan um, came up with the following explanation, which will be performed for you by current members of the Faraday Society. Brady Weirich, come up here, sweetie. This is Brady. Brady is vanadium, not the rest of the oxygen on that ion. He's just representing oxidation state five. And well, we need somebody to donate some electrons. So um, we have Morgan and Clara, which will be playing the role of zinc. All right, they're gray, zinc metal. Notice they don't have any charges on them. Do you guys have some electrons? And where do electrons live? This is good. OK, now, all right, so um, this was how Jordan Ryan chose to um, explain what was going on. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> Clara is quite the dancer. <laughs> All right, and go for it. to be indecent I lost a mic I was dancing behind the sign so what do you think do you think that would work yeah. so we we often call that the vanadium dance or a reduction production <laughs> in two acts that part and then the kids part anyway I think that's awesome